one. That one may be all I've been waiting for. Please, get in there when you say number one. I'm thinking no you DJ, any Bible Mouth song. Any Bible Mouth song. <coughs> Thank you. 
living in it is a completely different scenario. Sometimes I feel like I'm trapped in a seemingly endless comfort. Being a female victim is a heavy weight in my community. And this weight is multiplied when I feel that what I've been through doesn't matter to others. When I was nine, I dreamt of becoming a doctor. But this dream was shattered by family members, friends, and society. Called the walk of a doctor is meant for men. On cold desert. At a tender age of nine, I could not reason but listen. It is common to hear people talk about women's empowerment and the liberation of women from poverty, yeah, domestic expression, and exploitation as prerequisites for national development. Issues concerning women are hence integrated in national policies and programs. What is the difference? However, is the practicalization of such policy statements. One very important thing the world must have realized now is that decades of alienation of the women folk have deprived the world of their invaluable contribution. We in the Gambia here are grateful for the fact that we were among the first few to have seen the need to empower the women. As a result of our foresight intellect demonstrated by our thoughtful leaders. However, these so-called policies and laws of the Gambia do not truly really reflect the day-to-day -day activities and beliefs by the majority of the menfolk. Women in the Gambia are subjected to abuses and violations of rights at our homes, offices, cabin laws, and on the streets. Recently, women in the Gambia are subjected to abuses and exploitation by some men, notably the story of the taxi driver. Some men totally believe that they have right to inflict harm and get from them pleasures they desire. I'm going to 
uh, I go by the name Miss Zainab Jala, and I'm contestant number two. I thank you all for your